here. Can you see my feet? Yes. Looks good. Okay. Yep, you look good. All right. Sounds good. Okay, so today we're going to use, um, like, if you have water bottles, that's a great one. Ones, twos, and then some higher dumbbells. So um, we're going to be getting on the floor today, but this is the deal for the newbies here. Um, if you don't want to get on the floor, that's fine. Uh, you can do it from a chair, and all these exercises can be done from a chair. You just modify. Um, yeah. All right. So march it out. March it out, march it out. Let's start marching, come on. Let's go, let's do this. Happy Monday, woo! Let's rip off that Band-Aid from the weekend, come on. Draw the belly button in, shoulders back and down. It was so nice this weekend. I bet you everybody did something, you know? Well, of course you did something. <laughs> something outside, or I took my Christmas down because it was, you know, the neighbors were starting to talk. <laughs> because I kept lighting them. <laughs> All right, let's kick it out. So if you drove down uh, Kirk's Road and you saw some Christmas lights, that would have been me <laughs> with my Christmas lights on. <laughs> so I finally, I finally took them down because it was so nice yesterday, right? So just kick it out, shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in, think about your posture open and expand yes all right we're done with kicking forward let's kick side kick it side kick it side so we're going to do a little bit of kickboxing yes um not too much because i got a lot on the list so but a little little bit all right give me five more five four three two and one, kick it backward, let's go, kick it backward, draw the belly button and contract those abs and open up that chest, oh, my shoes are a little slippery today, I haven't worn these in a while, this might be, <laughs> this might be fun later on when I'm uh, doing kickboxing, all right, give me five more, come on, five, Squeeze that booty. You do not let go of that booty. Squeeze that booty. Come on. You need um, to work those glutes every chance you get. Two more. One more. Now we're going to kick wide. Kick it wide. Kick it wide. Come on. Open up that chest. We got to really think about those hips and those knees so you don't go too crazy with um the range of motion just yet. Build up. We're going to do this two rounds. So next time go a little bit higher. Next time go a little bit wider if you want. But don't go too crazy right off the bat. That's how you get inflammation later. And inflammation leads to discomfort. We don't want that. Give me three more. Three. Two. And one, again, side to side, side to side, maybe a little bit higher if you want. It's totally up to you. Or you can tap that toe on all these kicks. Instead, you can tap the toe on the floor. So that's an option. Thinking about the side oblique and the hip, maybe you're higher on one side and lower on the other. You know you've been doing this maybe a little bit, maybe a while, but you know your body. Two more. One more. Then we're going to go wide backwards. Yes, wide backwards. So wide, 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 wide. Does that make sense? I'll show you forwards, wide. See how I'm kicking backwards. I'm reaching to the back of that wall, but I'm kicking wide. That makes those hips go a little bit differently, right? It's a little bit of a um, external rota internal rotation. Sorry. Whew. Three more. Come on, let's go. Actually, that was four. Three more now. Yes. Two. Your pace. You don't have to go as fast. 
and one, march it out. All right, from the top, march it out. So this time, maybe go a little bit higher, but it's also up to you. If you feel it in your back, go lower. Feel it in your hip, go lower. Hmm. Feel it in your neck, shoulders back and down. Your leg, hmm. don't do that. All right, kick it out, kick it out. So, hey, maybe I'm reaching up towards the ceiling. It doesn't matter what you want to do with those arms. You do you. Draw that belly button in. Open up that chest. Contract those abs. I want to push through the heel and bring those toes back. Push through those heels. Push through those heels. We're going to stay here for a little bit. Give me three more. Three. Push through those heels. Bring those toes back. I want flexion. Last one. All right. Now point those toes. Point those toes. Point those toes. Open up that chest. Draw that belly button in and blow out every time those feet come up. Or, hey, maybe you're tapping. Maybe you're in the chair, seated. If you are, get off that tailbone. Four, woo, three, woo, two, woo, one. Now, kick it side, kick it side. So it doesn't matter how far you go, but this is the deal. My knee and my hip is always in the same direction. Never twist that hip without turning that knee because you put stress on the knee. So, hey, maybe I wanna go high. Maybe I wanna go low. It's up to you. Woo. Oh, I did the wrong kick. Oh, well. Give me three more. I'll just switch it. Give me two more. Give me one more. Now kick it back. Kick it back. So draw that belly button in. Maybe you're here. It's up to you. Your choice. Maybe you're here. It's up to you. But I want that to feel good in that back. So, hey, be careful. Do you. Squeeze that glute. Don't arch that back. That puts so much stress on that back. Squeeze the butt. If you can't feel it, put your hand on your butt and make sure that you're squeezing that glute every time that leg goes up. All right, we did a little extra. Last one. <laughs> now, side to side. So this is what I was supposed to do last time. Oh, that's okay. Side to side, yes? So side to side. Draw that belly button in. Oh, no. See, I'm still out of order. <laughs> I have my cheat sheets, and I'm still going out of order. Sorry, guys. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Open up that chest. And think about that um, the inside thigh and the hips on this one, yeah? Your range of motion. Ooh. Three. Oh, I forgot to silence my phone. Sorry. Two. And one, nice. Woo! Good job. Draw the belly button and contract those abs and kick it. Kick it high. Oh, sorry. Kick it wide. High and wide. Kick it high and wide. But you're high, right? Not um anybody else's. It's not my range. It's your range. Yes. Open up that chest. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. There's a lot of balance here. Yes. Squeeze that glute. Woo! We are working it today. Lots of cardio in this beginning piece. Four more. Or you can be here. Three. Right? It's your choice. Two. And one. We're going to go back wide. Back wide. Ready? Go back wide. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Think about that reach. Maybe you're reaching high. Maybe you're reaching out. It's totally up to you. I'm going to reach high because I like that stretch in my side obliques. So get what you want out of this, right? It's your move. <sighs> squeeze that glute, though. There's no denying that you got to squeeze that glute of that extended leg. Super important mind and muscles, folks. Three. <laughs> Two. 
and one. Nice. March it out. Let's go marching. March, 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 march. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Reach it out. Four, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Hinging down. Nice back. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back. Four, a back stretch. Open up for four. Three, support the spine, expand the chest in one, bring it up and reach. Four, three, two, just a nice stretch. And one, bring it down, hinging at the hips, round that back. Four, four, three, two, and one, bring it back for a nice lower back stretch. Open up that chest for four, three, two, and one. Bring it up to the side for four, three, two, and one. Other side for four, three, two, and one. Wide leg. Bring it out. Toes are forward and a little out. Bring that knee towards the um, toe. And open up. Maybe hold on to a chair right here. Four, inner thigh stretch. Three, two, one. If you want, reach it down and bring it back up. Other side. Go. Hinging at the hips. Opening up the chest. Maybe holding on to a chair in front of you. For four, this is a lot on the knees, so be careful. Hold on to something. Two and one, that inner thigh stretch. Bring it up, bring it in, and up and over. Four, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Hip width apart for those feet. Four, three, two, all through here, your lats. Bring it down, wide leg, bring it down. To whichever side you want, feel that inner thigh. Hold on to the chair. Hold on to a couch. Hold on to your dog. It doesn't matter. Inner thigh stretch. Three, two, and one. If you want, you can reach your choice. Draw the belly button in. Other side. Keep that chest open. Four, three, two, and one. If you want, you can touch. Bring it up side to side. Three, side to side, two, side to side, one, other side, bring it down. Whew, nice, okay. So, grab some water if you want, grab your water bottles if you want, grab nothing, it's up to you. I'm going to grab these water bottles. I have water bottles filled with sand, so they're like the reusable water bottles, but they got all yucky, and I just filled them with sand instead of, like, throwing them out or recycling them. I'm putting them to good use. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of kickboxing. So what is kickboxing? Core. Core, babies. Do not think about letting go of those abs. Zip it up. Jordache jeans, right, in the 80s, zip up. Do it right now. Put the hand on the belly. Draw the belly button in. Shoulders back and down. Squeeze your glutes. I feel like we're in the military. Come on. <laughs> Draw that belly button in. This should be tense. If you have to push your fingers in there and feel that muscle through that layer of warmth for this winter. <laughs> That's why it's there, to keep you warm. <laughs> that hibernation uh, <laughs> uh, layer. There you go. Go through that hibernation layer. Feel those abs. Tighten it up. Make sure you're not holding your breath. So you got to breathe through that contraction. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? We're going to start with a simple little jab. Draw the belly button in. Squeeze the butt. Butt cheeks are like like really tight right now. Draw the belly button in, relax the back, and relax those shoulders. Shoulders back and down. You're not here. Don't wear them as earrings. Bring them down. You got it. Okay, so right now you're just getting a core exercise right this moment. Pull it in, pull it in, squeeze the glute. 
Um, who's turning blue? How many of you are turning blue? Because you're holding your breath. Breathe. Breathe, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those abs, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those abs, squeeze those glutes. Three, two, one. All right, relax it out. You're going to go into that, but this time you're moving. Okay, draw the belly button in, squeeze the glutes, contract the abs, go. Jab, 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 push, 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 push. There you go. If you got something in your hands, even if it's um, um, sacks, like rolled up sacks even, doesn't matter. Or nothing, it's up to you. But don't, um, if you've got nothing in your hand, um, don't over squeeze those fingers because that puts stress on those joints. Four, three, two, and one. All right, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, reset your shoulders, give me a speed bag. Speed bag, maybe put those dumbbells down. Speed bag, go, 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 go. Ooh, can you hear that shaking? <laughs> I feel like I got maracas. I could karacha. I could karacha. We could blend the two. Um, it could be like Mexican dancing with um kickboxing, right? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Ole! <laughs> Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Give me a cross. Give me a cross. Pop that heel up. Watch that heel. Watch that heel. See how I pop that heel up. Boom. Every time I turn, draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Shoulders back and down. Boom. Power with intensity. Punch like you mean it. Come on. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Let's go. This ain't your... Uh, your grandma's kickboxing. Come on. Let's go. You got it. You know it. You own it. Four more. Woo. Three. Let's go. Let's go. Two. And one. <laughs> Nicely done, you guys. Roll those shoulders. If you feel it in the neck, then you're, guess what you're using? You're here. Relax, relax, and back. We're going to combine all those moves into a nice little salsa dance. <laughs> all right, start with that jab first. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes. Lots of core, neutral spine. You're not here, you're here. Tuck it. There you go. Ready? Go, go, go. If you got music, you should be um, raising the roof on this one. Yes? Let's put those jams on. Give me five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Back. Go. Come on. Draw the belly button and contract those abs. Back. Shoulders back and down. Go, 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 go. Be back. Be back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Open up that chest. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, cross it out, go, hup, 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 hup. I like to kind of give a little bit of a contraction in the center, so it's up to you, but you can be here, but I just feel that so fast, so it's up to you. You can do that pause in the center, pause in the center, and it resets those knees, so heel up, boom, heel up. When I turn, that heel pops up every time. Go, three, I think we did a little extra. Two, <laughs> and one, nicely done. Go to that jab, go, hup, 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 Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Give me five more, five, four, three, Two, one, speed back, go. Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, la cucaracha, cha, cha, cha. That's all I know of the song. <laughs> Four, come on, come on, contract those abs. Three, two, and one. Give me a cross, huh, huh, 
Keep going, keep going. I've got some technical difficulties. Keep it going, keep it going. There we go. Woo! Pause in the center. Huh. Contract those abs. Shoulders back and down. Give me five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nicely done. Woo! Relax those shoulders. Relax the hands. You can put these down if you want. We're going to go to that kick. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. And kick. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. So I'll show you side. Squeeze. Push through the heel. 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 So what's the difference with pushing through that heel? It really gives you good flexion and works those ankles as well. We need to strengthen those ankles because it's super important. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Now we're going to go side. Pay attention to your hips on this one. Side. Hey, maybe that bothers me. Maybe I'm going to tap instead, right? So your choice. You're here or you're here. Boom. With intention. Boom. Push through the heel. Maybe I'm low. Maybe I'm higher on this side. Watch the hips. Watch the back because that's what's going to get you. Push through the heel. Push. Boom. Squeeze the glute. Push. Boom. There's a lot to it. Mind to muscle. Don't just go through the motions. Those muscles have to do the work or they're not going to engage. It takes a lot of time to um, actually utilize the muscles. The glutes just don't automatically do the job. So you got to think about what muscle you're supposed to use. The top of the leg, the, the butt muscle, um, the calf as you're pushing. Um, there's a, you're all of mid to lower body is being used. Two more. Let's go. I think I did too much, but that's okay. One more. Oh, there's never too much, Lisa. All right. Let's combine those two moves. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Let's go for eight. And then right after, you're going to do side. Seven. Six. Five. You can go back. Let's go back. Four. Three. Pull back. Two. Pull back. One. Pull back. Go side and side. Side and side don't go too fast draw the belly button in contract those abs and squeeze those glutes there you go you got it side push it through push it through four three feel those side obliques two and one nicely done let's keep going kick and kick and kick and kick draw the belly button in shoulders back and down five four three two one side kick let's go go side and side and side and side draw the belly button and contract those abs and squeeze those glutes think about your back and what it likes to do don't go over what it likes to do yes because when you go over you feel it later two more and one more okay if you feel comfortable with all that good job grab some water if you feel comfortable with all that we're going to combine everything into a smorgasbord of salsa and um kickboxing Woohoo! all right you ready draw the belly button in contract those abs you're gonna punch opposite punch opposite so it's that jab right boom boom contract those abs boom boom so opposite arm opposite leg yes five more four three two one speed bag is gonna go up and down to a squat you guys know your squats maybe you're sitting in a chair 
And you do want to sit to stand if you want. It's up to you. Give me five more. Five more squats. Push. Squeeze those glutes. Four. Speed back. Speed back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Three. Two. And one. Nicely done. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Side. Side. Boom. 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 There you go. Boom. 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 So it's a side kick and a side punch all at the same time. Give me two more. Two. Woo! From the top. And one. Ready? Oh, I did an extra. Sorry. I did one and a half. Sorry. Draw the belly button and contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Opposite leg. Opposite arm. Go. Opposite leg. Opposite arm. Push. 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 Contract those abs. Pull that belly in. If you're seated in the chair, you're kicking and you're punching just like this, but off that tailbone. Four more. Four. Three. Speed bag is next. Two. And one. Nicely done. Go. Draw the belly button and contract those abs. Squat it out. Or you don't have to. That's the thing. You can do like that first um, original set and just do the arms. Or the second set just doing the legs. Totally up to you. Give me five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Almost there. Ready? Draw the belly button and contract those out. Boom. 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 Maybe I'm just doing the arms. Maybe I'm just doing the legs. Maybe I'm tapping my toes. Maybe I'm seated. Slide that foot over. Totally up to you. Whatever you want to do. Yes? It's all you because you got to deal with those bones later and those joints later. So be mindful. Squeeze side oblique. Squeeze side oblique. Really think about pulling that leg up with your side rather than your hip to that muscle right above your hip is working. And one. Ooh, nice. Yay. Good job. You don't need those anymore. Well done. Grab some water. Grab some water. Grab some water. And grab your dumbbells. Grab some dumbbells. Here we go. Okay. Draw the belly button in. Contract the ass. Squeeze the glutes. Bicep curl. So you're going to want something a little bit higher because we're doing a bicep curl. But we're going to be adding a lunge. Now, if lunges are like not your thing because your knees scream after, you do what works for your body. Something for lower body strength. Could be a squat. Could be a sit to stand. Could be um, sitting in the chair and squeezing your glutes together. Totally up to you. Whatever you need to do. But we're going to do like a combo move so three more doesn't matter what your legs are doing right now two and one nicely done all right draw the belly button and contract the abs shoulders back and down we're gonna go lunge forward back heel pops up toe heel is or I'm sorry knee is not above um, after the toe it's not yeah I can't speak today. Other side. So you want the you want the knee in front of the toe. Does that make sense? There you go. So look, you should be able to see your toes. See your toes. So when you come down, make sure you come down to where you can still see your toes. Boom. And bring it. Push back. Push back with that heel. There we go. I was so wonky the first few times. Now a little bit better. Squeeze the glute on this. The glutes help you. The quads whoo, help you. So your range of motion, draw the belly button in and contract those abs. So this is the deal. We're going to combine this next one. Yeah, Lisa, you are just killing us today, right? 
Well, mm -hmm. you do you, right? Two more. Shoulders back and down. One more. I think that was, yes. Not a very good counter, am I? Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Okay. Add both of them together, but think about that form. Draw the belly button in. Bicep curl. Bring it in. Bicep curl. Bring it in. Bicep curl. Now, maybe I'm not doing that lunge. Maybe I'm doing a step out. Ooh, did you see me? <laughs> my whole foot slid. <laughs> Squeeze the glute. Watch my back heel. Look what my back heel does. Uh-huh. Is that fancy? Yes, it is, Lisa. Very impressive. Thank you. I've worked on it. So this is a deal. You don't want this. See how my foot is out towards you? Bad. Don't do that. The hip is going to cry later. Don't do that. Pop that heel up. <sighs> But my foot doesn't want to do that because it's cheating. Your body is cheating. <sighs> what do we got? Like two more. Come on. Actually, I think it was three more. So I'm being nice by saying two more because I think I'm jipping you one. Did I do both sets? No. Boom. All right. Relax it out. Whoa, shake it. Like a Polaroid picture. Shake it out. Good. Let's do that again, but different. Okay. I'm glad you're up for it. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Now you're going to come down. Boom. And reach. Woo. See that adding? Bring it down. Bicep curl. Just give me a little reach. Boom. Bring it down. So I'm switching legs, yes. Popping up that heel. And then I'm reaching. You don't have to. It's just a little bit more balance work. Bring it up and reach. Bam. Bicep curl. Bring it down and reach. Bicep curl. Hey. Maybe I'm in the chair. What am I doing? Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, do that bicep curl, reach down. You don't have to do that lunge, right? You're in the chair. Squeeze that glute, reach it down. But if you're in the chair, you're off your tailbone. Draw the belly button in. My foot is still up, even as I'm reaching, yes? That heel in back, so that leg in back, and reach. We got two more, come on. Draw the belly button in, squeeze the glute, reach. Your speed, yes? One more, bicep curl, reach. You got this, come on. Draw the belly button in, bicep curl, reach. Push through that heel on the reach in the front foot, yeah? Don't push on your toes. Heel is up and back. Push through the heel there on the front. Relax it out. Yay. That was so enjoyable. All right. Um, get rid of your dumbbells just for a minute. Relax those hands. We're going to do some push-ups on a chair, on a wall, with a fox down the hall. <laughs> My rhyme for the day. <laughs> so your choice. Chair, wall, or floor, actually. It's up to you. Push-ups. Push-ups. So I'm going to grab my little chair, um, but it's up to you what you want to use. This is the deal. What is a push-up? It's a plank. So I don't want any of this. No, that's not a push-up. That's a butt up, which is, it's got a good, um, you know, it is a real exercise, but it's not what we're doing. This is what we're doing. We're doing a plank. Our shoulders are back and down. Draw the belly button in. Zip up those Jordache jeans. Relax those shoulders. Relax the neck. And you're just going to come down with those elbows towards your side. Okay, Lisa, 
I don't want to do this in the chair. Then do the wall, of course. Do the wall. Step back. Draw the belly button in. Give me four more. Come on. Draw that belly button in. Squeeze those glutes. Relax the shoulders. Lisa, this is too easy. We'll do two more, but further away from the wall. So you got choices, but keep those elbows towards your sides. Relax it out. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We got two more. Come on. So maybe your hands bother you. Maybe your, your arms can handle it, but those hands can't. So do the wall. Um, your choice. There's lots of choices here. Find what works for you. Maybe you got to put those hands off the, the chair, you know, like um, wrapped around the bottom of the chair. Yes, it's up to you. But find a way, um, even if you do fists, right, on the wall. Give me three more. No, 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 five more. Five. <laughs> I almost jipped you. Four. <laughs> Going to be eating this light bulb here. Three. <laughs> Two. And one. Nicely done. Relax it out. What do we got? We got someone off of mute. I don't see anybody, though. Maybe it's Marianne. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. I can hear somebody, but I don't see anybody. Um, that's Everybody's off mute or on mute. Okay, we got one more. Shake it out. Roll. Last one. Let's go. Draw the belly button in. Bring those feet back. Draw, the, draw it in. Squeeze the butt. Yes? Relax the shoulders. Let's go. Down and up, peeps. Down and up. Draw that belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. We're getting to the floor next, but we're going to need those dumbbells. So, and the Pilates strap. Give me five more. Five. <laughs> Four. Three. Two and one really place so making sure every time you do these you know your elbows aren't here they're here yes like this that's the key and those shoulders are down okay good job you guys we're gonna get to the floor now and you're gonna grab your dumbbells and i need your pilates strap too because we're gonna use that for the stretch now if you don't have a pilates stretch strap you can use a band or a belt whatever works for you is fine it's not a big deal if you don't have anything because you don't really need it honestly you can do it without it's just it makes it more stable so let's go down here we go hey we're a little cricket aren't we just a little cricket is cricket a word i don't think i say that right Crooked? Crooked? I don't know. It's my mom's fault. Okay, so you're here. You're on the floor. And how do you get down safely on the floor? I'm glad you asked because you want to be, you know, like here. Boom, 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 boom. Down and then down. Yeah? We're good? Okay, so first one we're going to do, I don't need the dumbbells. You're going to draw the belly button in contract the abs and squeeze those glutes. Hey, if you're in the chair, that's fine. This is abs. You're fine. Go to the edge of the chair, come back and come up. So you're um, at the edge of the chair and you're leaning back and coming up. That'll get your abs. You can, you can even put a ball behind you or a pillow behind you if you need more support in the chair on your back. It's up to you. All right, draw the belly button in, contract the abs. Shoulders back and down. We're going to do some crunches. Um, place those feet on the floor. Squeeze your butt. you got to have good core control over this one. You don't want to go up too high. <laughs> Draw the belly button in and pull up, making sure you're not going up too high. I'm not going up that high. I'm not putting stress on my back. I'm pulling my abs in. Pull the, hey, maybe you just put use one and you push on that. Feel that belly. Feel it contract. Yeah? 
that's the key. It doesn't have to be a big movement. And you're supporting your neck. You can even put like a little towel behind you and hold on to that towel. That is really nice, like a little hand towel. So your choice. So keep going. But yeah, you could even like be here. Um, and that supports the the neck so nicely. So you don't put stress on that neck at all. Give me three more. Three, hold it, bring it down. Two, hold it, bring it down. And one, hold it, bring it down. The whole time, all right, take a rest. That whole time, you're pulling your, your belly button towards the floor. If you're in the chair, you're, you're pulling that belly button towards the back of the chair. Yes? That makes sense? Kitty says, Mom, keep going. All right, draw the belly button in, squeeze the glutes, contract the abs. <laughs> pull through, pull through, pull through. If you feel this in your neck, then modify. Grab your Pilates strap and bring that strap behind your, your head. Grab a little towel. Put that towel behind your head. Maybe don't lift up so much. You can be here, right there, right? Um, but be gentle with your body. But really give your abs a run for the, their money. Yes, three more. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring it down. Two more. Hold it, hold it, hold it, bring it down. One more, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now we're gonna pulse, so hold, little pulse. Go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it out, nicely done, shake it. Let's go side to side with our neck. You should not feel this in your neck. If you do, you should go to a chair and do it that way. Just leaning back and coming back up and lean back and come back up. Yes? Okay. You got it. All right, because we got one more to do. We got three sets of these. Draw the belly button in. Open up that chest. Squeeze those glutes. Contract the abs. Let's go. Open. Really feel that pulling in right through here. You really got to have muscle control. Keep that chest open. Like there is a rope pulled, pulling. It's attached right to your sternum, and it's pulling up. You don't want to pull in like this. It's not what we're doing. It's a, it's a flat, 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 really flatten out this whole area. Zip it all up. Oh, bring it in. Bring it in. Pull those, pull that belly button towards the floor. Or like in through your rib cage up, right? If that makes sense. Um, whatever visual works for you. You can think of someone stepping on your stomach, right? Holding you down. Two more, and then we're gonna do that pulse. Yes, relax it out. Make sure you breathe out every time you come up. Now pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Relax it out. Yay. Hey, let's go side to side. Side, because I was like automatically doing that. I feel like that's what we need. You're just bringing those knees to the side. If you're in the chair, bring the knees to the side. Bring it back to center and bring the knees to the side. So my other class, my body balance class, has like more stretch into it. Um, it's like basically this, but with a little bit more stretch and balance, of course. All right, bring it back to center. Okay. All right, so we're back to center. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, grab your dumbbells. All right, shoulders back and down. <clears throat> Depending on the weight of your, um, your dumbbells, you're going to extend your right leg. You're going to bring the left, the left arm down. Extend the left leg, left arm down, yes? So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it down and pull in. Bring it down and pull in. So when they're up, they're up. 
When they're down, they're down. Yes? Push through the right heel and squeeze the glute. Hey, Lisa, that's super easy. Well, hmm. Put them both in one hand. Woo! Ha! That's harder. Draw the belly button in. <clears throat> Contract those abs. So, hey, Lisa, this hurts my back. Bend the knee. Hey, Lisa, I'm in the chair. Well, you can do this in the chair. Draw the belly button in. Maybe bend the knee instead. Maybe bend the arm instead. It's up to you. Woo! <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to make that one. Oh. Draw the belly button in every time. Blow out. Right here. Blow out. Squeeze that glute. Give me four more. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Are you with me? You're either with me or against me. Don't be against me. Draw the belly button in. Squeeze the glutes. Contract the abs. Extend the right leg and the left arm. Yes? Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Push through this left heel. Yeah? Bring it out. Hey, maybe I'm bending my knees. That's okay. Straight or bent, it's up to you. I'm going to double up. You can double up if you want. Bring it back. Oh, that's so hard. Oh, so many abs working. Straight leg. This leg is straight, right? I know you can't see it because um, it's cut out of the picture, but it's straight. I promise you. I'm not lying. Ooh, if you were here early, I told you I can't lie. That's terrible. I wish I could. <laughs> Little white lies. I can't even do like, hey, do I look good in this? I'm like, no, you don't. I can't even do that. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a good thing, right? But it gets you into trouble sometimes. Four. Oh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three. Woo, dog. Oh, dying. Two. How about you? Blow out every time. You got to blow out. Pull in, blow out. Yes, that's it. Relax it out. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. So draw the belly button in. Both knees are up. Contract those abs. We're again going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. But we're going to go four and then four. So you're going to switch four, four. So ready? Go. Oh, sorry. Four. Three. Pull that belly in and blow out every time. Two. And one. Sorry, this is going to go over. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Go. Four. Three. Two, and one. Switch it out. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Let's go. Four, three, two. Now you're going to pulse on this one. And one for a four count. Four, three, two, one. Do you feel that in those abs? Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Switch. Squeeze those glutes. Go. Four. Three. Two. One. Pulse it out for four. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. Bring it back down. We're going to switch for eight. Are we ready? Yes. Draw the belly button in. Go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pulse it out for eight. Ready? Go. Eight, seven, six. Pull in those abs. Five, four, three, two, 
one, relax out. If you feel that in your back, don't use the dumbbell or don't raise the leg or don't raise the arm. Switch it out. Draw the belly button in. Switch those legs. Squeeze those glutes. Contract those abs and pull up for eight, seven, six, five, four. Push your neck heel. Three, two, Pulse for eight, ready, go. Eight, seven, all abs, all arms, all legs, pull it in, go. Five, four, three, squeeze those buns, two, and one. Relax it out. Nicely done, nicely done, nicely done. Katie says, it's stretch time, Mom. <laughs> Grab your Pilates strap. Woo! Nice, 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 nice. So be careful when you put it on, but this is where you want to be. And you're going to straighten out your left, and you're going to straighten out your right, and the right is over, and you know where we're going with this. Um, you're going to just relax and give me a nice hamstring stretch. If you're in the chair, what are you doing? Your left knee is bent, your right is extended, and you're hinging forward, yeah, if you're in the chair. Four three, two, and one. You're gonna slowly bring it to the side, feel that stretch in the hip. Hopefully, you guys are doing these on your own and you're feeling the difference. I'm telling you, these three hamstring stretches make a huge difference. Huge, 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 huge. Four, three, two, and one. That's why I use them so, they're just so effective. Okay, now that you're going to do that inner thigh, draw the belly button in, contract the abs, and you're reaching out. Feel that. So I had a stretch class back before COVID, and it was just a stretch class that I taught. And there was a guy in there. Oh, he was so tight. He couldn't even sit on the floor um, without – we used a yoga block, and he had to lean back. That's how tight he was. Within one year, he was sitting on that floor, knees were flat on the ground, not flat, flat, but pretty flat. Um, it was amazing. Take a breath. And they stopped and went on vacations and stuff. That wasn't even like a full year. And then bring that um, in, you know, feel that stretch again in that hamstring, straighten out that leg as much as you can, and then bend that knee and bring that knee towards your chest and then try and straighten that leg. So you're going to feel that higher up on the leg. Yes. Four, three, two, and one. And the thing is, is he would get a lot of tingling. Um, and that, that stopped as well, which is so nice. Okay. And then rotate that ankle. And other direction. And there you go. Now point and flex. Think of the mobility in your ankle that you need just for walking and going up the stairs. And we pretty much ignore our ankles. So be nice to those ankles. All right, let's go other side. So what am I doing? I'm going to do my hamstrings first. Do, do, do. I'm going to extend. So if you're in the chair, what are you doing? You're bending your right knee and your left leg is straight out in front of you. You're going to hinge forward, staying off that tailbone if you're in the chair. Open up that chest. Feel that stretch. Sometimes I, like, brace myself right here, and I get a better stretch. But never press on the knee. Four, three, two, and one. All right, slowly bring it up and over. Feel that oh, eek. Feel that stretch. Um, if you're seated a lot, do these stretches a little more often. If you're in a recliner a lot, um, you know what's really good for those recliners? Um, garbage bins. Garbage bins are really good for the recliners. When you're hauling it over to the garbage bin, use your core to toss it in to the garbage bin because that's where recliners belong. <laughs> Take a breath. 
did you think I was serious? I was going to give you like <laughs> hints about recliner stretches. <laughs> think about that inner thigh. Yeah, I, I hate recliners. <laughs> I think I, I said before that they are the devil <laughs> incarnate. Four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Relax it out. Now this is where you want to get just a nicer stretch because you already stretched it once. You want to get a little deeper stretch, but be careful. Never press on the knee. Sometimes I just go right here. If you're um, in the chair, you're hinging forward and you're feeling that stretch a little deeper this time. Now, even if you're in the chair, you're going to hinge forward. You're going to bend that knee a little bit. Bend that knee. It's going to come out of that calf completely. And if you're on the floor, you're just bringing it deeper towards your chest. Feel that stretch a little, little higher in that leg. It's now no calf. Sometimes when you hinge forward, you can feel that in the calf if you have real tight calves. Three, two, just bend that knee and it'll take it out of that calf. And one, all right, bring it down. And then just give me a rotation with that ankle. Hey, maybe that knee doesn't like that. You don't have to bring it down. Whatever, I just need that rotation other direction four corners guys four corners not a circle that gives you a deeper stretch when you go four corners and then pull back and point pull back and point this is what you do all day when you're walking and this is why you walk like a duck this move right here this right here that's why you walk like a duck because your hips go yeah, my ankle doesn't like that, so my hip's going to go out. And then everybody says, well, you got a hip issue. Well, look at the ankles. Look at the mobility in the ankles. Last one. And, of course, we work a lot on the ankles with our Wednesday class. Um, okay, so here you go. If you're in the chair, you can um, side to side. It's up to you, but we want right through here so if you're in the chair this is the goal right on that side oblique that's the stretch from the hip to the side oblique up the back take a breath bring it back to the other side feel that stretch so where is it all through here right you can do this in bed it's so good to do this in bed Two, one, bring it down. Let's go to a butterfly. Open up that chest, shoulders back and down. Think about the inner, the inner thigh stretch. And also like the lower back because you tend to arch a little bit. So press that lower back into the floor. If you're in a chair, you're gonna come up off that tailbone and that, that spine will go into neutral and you'll feel that stretch in the inner thigh more. Three two one and then bring it in if you're in the chair up off the tailbone you're gonna go um uh, let's go this way ankle over knee yes maybe in the chair you're too tight you need to extend that leg that's fine too same thing with the floor maybe you need to be here you know just modify um if you don't feel a stretch you're here. Where's my stretch? Right through here. So you can be here. Whatever works for you. No, not on that side. Sorry, guys. On the other side, on the other leg. The leg that's crossed, um, that back of that leg, that hamstring, it's the psoas and the piriformis, kind of a, a deeper butt muscle. All right. Bring it down. Now, slowly cross it out. Pull it up if you need to. Only if you need to. And this is where you're not, you're going to feel it. Four, three, I swear, <laughs> two, and one. Bring it down. Relax it out. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Slowly. You're going to bring it to the side. 
and up. Yay! What time is it? I don't know, because my clock is wrong. Okay, relax it out, and let's just roll those shoulders. Yeah? No chats. Roll those shoulders. Four, three, two, and one, and let's go side to side. Side to side. Really think about what I'm doing with that neck. Yeah, you feel that stretch? Maybe some popping is fine as long as it doesn't accompany um, pain. Okay, bring the chin towards the chest. There we go. All right, slowly look up and then bring your chin towards your shoulder. Now look behind you, like you're looking in your back pocket. So you're lifting that chin just a little bit to get up towards your um, top of the shoulder now, looking back. And then back to center. And then you're gonna take that chin towards your shoulder. And then look in your back pocket. And then back to center. And then let's go side to side again. Nice. Okay, stay here. Your choice if you want. Just give it a little gentle, nothing too extravagant. Little help, just as an assist. All right, relax it out. And then to the other side. And again, just a little gentle. And relax it out. Roll those shoulders. And let's just go for a swim. So think about your shoulder blades and what they're doing. I don't want you to go through the motions. Really, mind to muscle is super important. Thinking about those shoulders coming down and getting that movement in your upper back. That's the goal. Okay, so now both at the same time, bring it down. It's a stretch, not a strengthen. So nice and gentle, bring it down. Do you feel those shoulder movement? I, on a lot of people, I see so much tightness in the back of their shoulders that they can't really get that movement in. So this helps a lot. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Shake it out and let's get those fingers going. Teresa, you got it going on, girl. Good job. Nice. Okay, squeeze. And when you release, I want that arch. It's not going to come right away. Ooh, Dennis, way to go. Squeeze and release. Yeah, perfect, perfect, Linda. I can see the bottom of your palms. Perfect. <laughs> and Abraham is a shadow, but I can see those fingers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> wiggle. Yeah, Abraham, good job. Teresa's got jazz hands. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it. Good job, good job. Let's go to those wrists. We're not getting kicked out yet, so I figured I'd keep going. <laughs> and then other side. You got you got a few minutes. Oh. I'm watching. Oh, do I? Okay. Yeah. I, I don't have to start that. And then bring it down. Me. Just bring it down. You feel that stretch. Um, if you don't feel a stretch on this one, that's great. That means that you've got, you know, good mobility in those wrists. But if you do, this is a really good one, not only for meditation, but for stretching the, you know, the wrists. All right, relax it out. Good job. Thank you, guys. This was my first April class. Or April. Oh my God. March. Class. March. <laughs>